looked like you had a fair control of the game for large chunks of it there. Fates, where did uh, Colin, or where were Colin in here and that bit better? Um, well, look, this, the first quarter was a problem for, for us, so we, we, ironically, we've had two really good first quarters this year, and tonight we we didn't um, start well. So there's a you know there's a four goal margin at uh, quarter time, and we lost by 20 points. So uh, the start was slow. I thought from that point in time onwards, um, we're a lot better. Obviously, our third quarter, our second quarter was fantastic. Uh, good fight back. Um, that looked more like Brisbane Lions sort of brand of footy. Um, but I, th I think tonight, a um, few things. We had enough entries to win win the game, but we didn't. We weren't able to turn those entries into to marks and scores. Um, you know, a lot of those are in the in that second quarter. <laughs> uh, we had a big number of inside fifties, but it was the ball lived at our end, so that's where all the numbers were. So that made it a little harder to score. Um, and I thought we over handballed tonight and that invited their pressure. They tackled particularly well, but I think oh, that, that's a lot of handballs for us. Um, and they were able to get turnovers off those. Um, and they kicked four goals from forward 50 stoppages. And at the moment, that score source for us has really dried up. So it's, it's been one of our strengths. Uh, tonight it wasn't, but it was for them. So that's where the... The edges were, I think, for, for Collingwood. I know, the, I know the shots of goal were equal and all that sort of business. And I felt tonight we played, probably played better than we have all year so far, in a way. Uh, even though we didn't get the result that we're after, we were we were bet, better in lots of ways tonight. In isolation, all those stats, like you say, there's evidence there that things are going well. But it just feels like there's a, like the maybe like you mentioned the brand, the Brisbane brand. Do you feel like you just haven't found that? Mojo not consistently, yeah. no. And and you know some of our players are not at their best at the moment. Um, I can't explain to you why, but um, and that's sport for you. Sometimes you go through form slumps, and we've got a few that aren't sort of at their best at the moment. So we've got to keep working away with those guys um, as well. Um, you know they 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 tackled better than us, but I'll, but what I would say. Um, um, is that we invited their pressure to tackle us well in, in, in a sense. So, um, but it's something that we, you know, we need need to get more tackles and we need to be more effective with them as well. Chris, it seemed like your, your tall forwards just couldn't finish off the marks. Was that the, no. was that there? a lot of hands on ball first, wasn't there? Yeah. Um, yeah, I reckon when I look back at the um, the vision, there'll be some marks that we probably should have taken that we that we dropped. We nearly had them, but. Didn't quite finish finish them. Um, you know, the idea tonight was to pick a taller forward line, um, but in the end, it didn't it didn't help us because we couldn't take our marks. But it's a fair it's a fair fair observation, mate. Did did Collingwood run it out a bit easy for your liking sometimes, or do you think that was the, the ball movement? Some the sometimes in in the first quarter, I thought so. Um, I thought not in the second, and in and in bits and pieces in the second half, um, but particularly in the first quarter, they did. Uh, we, you know, we weren't squeezing in hard enough with with our mids and our, and our backs, and uh, you know the ball got over the back a few times. And they had a number there, and they, they were able to run it out. So yeah, that's that's a fair call for the particularly the first quarter. You're a zero. You're a definitely always a glass half full guy. What's your level of concern? I guess three three matches in. Uh, well, all I know is, is there's 20 to go, isn't there? There's a long long way to go. So uh, we certainly haven't had the start that we hoped for and we've dropped two home games which has um, been very unusual for us over the last period of time so um, we've got a bit of work to do to, to, to find ourselves there were, there, were good glim there were some good glimpses of that tonight we've just got to build on it um, yeah you have made some tweaks but do you think because of the fluctuating nature of all, all three games that the tactics are sound like what you're trying to do what are you work? talking about Oh, well, selection-wise, you like, tonight you had three tall forwards, mm. right? But that's a change. But do you think generally? What, well, we had what, three what, tall. We had three talls in the first game, and we had three talls tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. I'm just yeah. like, how confident are you that the, the footy you're trying to play is going to work? Like, or is it a chance? Do you need to overhaul something? Do you think? Uh, well, they're the players that we've got. You know, 
Um, Tactically, though. That's something to think about during the week, not not discuss at press conferences, to be honest. The question's fair and reasonable, but... Um, nah. Um, what, is someone suggesting that, or...? No, I, I, no. just the basis is that, like you said, you've, it's been, you can see it, like, the footy, footy's been good in parts, but not others, mm. so it's like... Well, that's consistency, isn't it? Like, you know, we, we won a lot... There's a lot of green on this stat sheet tonight. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's been the... Almost the frustrating part about it is we've won inside 50s in every game that we've played this year. Normally when we went inside 50s, we win. But for some reason or other, we're not. And, you know, the first game we marked it inside 50 pretty well. I think we had 16, but the last two weeks that's dried up. Um, um, you know, we're usually pretty good at winning drop of the ball and that's been inconsistent. Uh, first quarter was really poor. Got, got a little bit better as the game went on. So... The, an the answer's not obvious. Yeah. yeah. There's probably no obvious answer to this too, but how do you... Uh, what's the coaching challenge with trying to get guys like Charlie and Eric and guys that just look like they're a little bit short of confidence? What's the challenge to try and get them back to their best? Yeah, well, it's, a, it's a good challenge, but, you know, you, 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 you really talk to them about what they're good at and, and reinforce that. Um, you know, form comes and goes. It can go, but it can come back, so... Um, yeah, more just just positivity, but honesty as well. Um, you know, these guys have been good players, so uh, uh, we won't be pressing the panic button. And uh, I've trusted them for a long time, and they've delivered. So I'm not going to not going to jump off off them uh, just because we've lost three games in a row. Um, you know, we've turned up and played pretty well for the last five or six years, and right now we're just having a little slump. And you got to remember that, that, and that's teams sometimes. That's the life of a team. Sometimes you go through a form something. I've got to help them find it, find their form again. That's my job. Chris, how's uh, Lockie's ankle? I reckon it'll be pretty sore tomorrow. Uh, it was a good effort by him to keep um, playing. Um, but we'll obviously just see. I, I haven't talked to the medical people yet about what the plans are for him. I mean, he was able to finish the game, but he wasn't, he wasn't moving as well once he did that. I didn't think. It was a bit of a moment in the game. Mm. Still 35, but what's the name? Yeah, and a lot of clearances, and yeah. uh, he he can hold his head up high tonight. Zorko, I guess that's another would look like a positive. You moved him back there, and yeah, he certainly tries. <laughs> he, he certainly um, generates a lot of. Activity yeah, he did. He, he did. he um, did. He made some mistakes, but he yeah. set up some opportunities as well. You know, unfortunately, um, you know McKenna and and uh, Coleman have been mainstays of our backline, and. You know, it's been pretty disrupted in the three games that we've played this year. You know, Gardner, Gardner couldn't play tonight because he had a bit of a sore, sore uh, knee, and we've obviously got those two, two guys out. Um, um, so there's some, some challenges there. But it's what a footy season's all about. You know, we've we've been challenged before, and we've worked out worked our way through those challenges. So we'll just do that again. Just just one on Tom Duda. Have you confirmed whether he needs surgery, or has there been a decision made on that? I don't think so. I think he's still seeing specialists, but uh, he's going to be out for a fair while. Just on Zorks, how important is someone like him at this point in time with the club? Like he's trying so hard to mm. make things happen. Like, yeah. how, how important is what he does over the next few weeks? To oh, well, he'll just play. He'll just play his normal role. I mean, you know, making it sound like we're zero and thirteen. We're zero and three, I and mean, there's twenty games to go. So let's not. Um, it's not a great start, but let's not. Catastrophise it either. It would be the way I would look at it, and I understand your question, but I, I don't want to buy into that just yet. Thanks, mm. Thanks for this. Mm. Thanks.